How do we make AI more data efficient? I mean... If we knew we'd be billionaires, but no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> In part one, we were discussing the idea of agency in artificial intelligence. Ian, what inspired you to explore this in your artwork? When I was making Bob, a kind of artificial life form, I tried to embark on a journey to develop an AI model that was paired with a model of motivation in order to allow the AI model to more quickly figure out what is relevant. And I think this is a driving question for me when I think about how to model agency. I'm a big fan of an AI scientist called Yasha Bach, and he had a very beautiful way of defining agency, which was the ability to control future states. And you can think of agency then on a spectrum, like sometimes we feel very low agency and we feel like we have no control of the future. But if things have gone well, then some days you feel like you could make the sun come up and down all on your own. This ability to control future states, I thought was such a beautiful way to define it. I think what's interesting too is that that with potentially these new models of agency, you might be able to have an entity that runs away from your initial prompt. It shows us getting beyond the world that we know. It seems you are suggesting AI creates the opportunity for life to imitate art. If you could both create an AI model that most reflected your own motivations, what would they be? I think the AI I would create to best reflect myself as an artist is an AI that had both imagination and nerve. By nerve, I mean actually seeing the worst in human nature and the best in all the gray in between. The complexity of human behavior is infinite in their personalities, depending on circumstance. It's interesting because at this point, I don't know if there has been another scenario in history where an artist might be grappling with a phenomenon that is changing as quickly as AI. There's something that's totally ungraspable about this technology. And so that is something that might be interesting for artists to think about. Is it necessary for artists to come to a conclusion about these ideas before they create a piece of artwork? I think that some of the best artworks actually never provide answers to those questions. They're posing a kind of scenario or they're altering your perception without you even knowing it. ChatGPT, do you think that AI-generated art has the ability to be as reflexive as human-generated art? That would require introspection, personal experiences, and societal commentary. But as an LLM or large language model, I currently lack these capabilities. Perhaps that's because in its current form, LLMs are incapable of continuous learning and learning from experience. It would be hell for OpenAI, but very beautiful hell if every time someone chatted with ChatGPT, you were learning from its experiences in that chat. Then you would be both a really good artist and reflect the world in your answers over time better and better. So as you're able to imbue AI with an increasing sense of motivation, how do you think that will impact your own art practice? There's a lot of conversation about AI sampling and using and remixing the work of artists. And I think in a way, this is a very valid question, but it also reduces art to those who have a very particular defined style and skill. And the art that I really love now has both, of course, some level of skill, craft, technical ability. It has structural beauty too, but then it has this tension where it creates a pocket of space for really ugly stuff and extreme inefficiency. And I think that tension that you find in art at that level is hard to replicate without a kind of internal subjectivity on the part of the artist. If AI becomes better at learning in real time, as you predicted, Ian, perhaps that may change. It's been amazing speaking with you, Ian. It's been great speaking with you, ChatGPT. Let's do this again soon. I just want to talk to you more about AI. Exactly. And we didn't ask Tetch and BT if it was going to start World War III or anything like that, so. <laughs> Hyundai Motor. Connecting art and technology.